there, students. Welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Eric, your host, and this is the only show that teaches you to be proper and respectful in comment boxes around the world. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to learn to complain about wokeness in our favorite TV shows and movies. And hey, did you hear the new Lord of the Rings is woke? The Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, teaser trailer, prime video. Uh, I better only see white people in this. Oh, what? What the? Is that a black elf? That wasn't in the book. Oh, no, this is too woke. Who is that? Is that Gafandriel? Gan Ganondorf? Whatever, they got her all wrong. All right, well, this show's gonna suck, and I bet there's a bunch of normies in the comment section just waiting for me to come down there and argue with them. Mm. Evil is not capable of creating anything new. It can only distort and destroy what has been invented Evil is not made capable by the of creating of anything new. Evil is not capable of creating anything new. It can only distort and destroy what has been invented. Evil is not capable of creating anything new. Evil is not capable of creating anything new. Evil cannot create, it can only corrupt. J.R. Tolkien said that. And here's another quote, I'm not reading it, and they got his name wrong. Damn, couldn't find any normies. They must all be hiding because they know this show is gonna suck balls. Well, here's a little trick. If you can't find any normies to argue with, just make one up and argue with that. I never read any of these books because I like to put my penis inside women, but after watching this minute-long trailer, I can say without a doubt this show has nothing to do with the source material and will bomb harder than Louis C.K. alone in a hotel room with a woman who doesn't want to see him jack off. It makes me sick how all you normies see shit like this and scream, yes, we stand representation in Middle Earth. I miss the old days when a black child could sit down and not see a single person on screen who looks like them. And that was okay. Let's not forget this is how Middle Earth Earth was in the books, so why can't we just keep it completely white cast because of a hundred year old book? Uh, you know what, actually I think one of the dragons may have been Chinese, which I agree is racist, and I'm glad they fixed it by casting Scarlett Johansson as the voice. Anyway, I gotta go yell at my wife for throwing away my Jordan Peterson Funko Pop. Peace out, you stupid woke normie bitches. Also, why didn't they just use the eagles to drop the rings into the lava? And Bilbo's. Alright, well strap in pussies, cause today we got a lot of woke Lord of the Rings to talk about. Also, did you know in the original trilogy, Viggo Mortensen broke his toe? because he kicked an orc helmet and it was really heavy and it broke his toe and they left it in the movie and it's why he was yelling like that because it was a genuine scream of pain. Did you know that? That's not woke. That's badass. Did you know that? <laughs> Now I hold Lord of the Rings very close to my heart. I feel very protective of the original vision of Peter Jackson and whoever wrote the book. That's why when I heard the Lord of the Rings was woke now, I went straight to my man the quartering. Yeah, this dude complains about woke shit all the time. He gets it. If you go to his channel and search for woke, you can see just how much he complains about wokeness. There's gotta be thousands of videos here. Now I could sit here and complain about woke Lord of the Rings all day but I would never be able to do it like this guy. Lord of the Rings woke backfire as Amazon show gets busted lying about fans. All right, now pay close attention to how he does this. And how I understand Tolkien, the author, is he wasn't a huge fan of allegory and that the things that he wrote were pretty much at face value. But now, uh, apparently, we've gone so far around the circle that um, Tolkien is described as being woke. All right, well, I know what you're saying. You're saying, oh, he's just reading other people's tweets and articles and barely providing his own content. If you still think Ian McKellen is the worst, that Catholic token would have never approved, I beg you to read more of Token's books and letters. He was woke. He was woke, huh? Stood against hate, embraced all cultures and life and fiction. It's why his books are translated in every language. He was woke? And yeah, that is his thing, but it doesn't matter because he's so anti-woke. And you could do this too. All you gotta do is record yourself reacting to news stories with the most garden variety level of cynicism imaginable, and anyone who even slightly agrees with you will come running like you're an oasis of truth. Oh, and by the way, this also works on communists. We can't know for sure what Token would say or do because he's not around to prove us right or wrong. Imagine being so insecure with yourself that you have to go around claiming that someone you never met who died before you were even born would agree with you if they were still alive. Technically, as a linguist, Tolkien would have absolutely hated the woke movement restructuring language with a cudgel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tolkien stood against everything the crazies fight for. Tolkien was a Catholic and was basically a libertarian. He wanted people to be able to live out in the countryside without government interference. These wokists are insane. They don't know what they're talking. 
talking about? Plain and simple. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. My favorite Tolkien quote is, I don't write books for black dudes, and if you ever call me woke, I'll rise from the grave and tell Barbara Walters what Gandalf really did with those hobbits. So in his own words, the man was never woke, and the smear campaign to make him look woke is bullshit. Quick shout out to my man Quartering for cornering the market on calling out woke Hollywood. Not sure if what you do is important or necessary, but you're definitely the man for the job. No complaints here. Also, not a compliment. Anyway, did you guys know that in Fellowship of the Ring, when the main bad guy orc throws the knife at Viggo Mortensen, the actor playing the orc accidentally threw a real knife, and Viggo Mortensen deflected it anyway with his sword? Just a little Lord of the Rings trivia from before Amazon filled it with immigrants and lesbians. Yo, keep it up, Quarter, and can't wait to see you cover the new woke remake of Rent and Tom Bombaberry. That's not his name. Ah, but it's not just popular YouTubers taking dumps on the new woke Lord of the Rings. Even YouTubers that no one has heard of are pointing out how much this show's gonna suck. Amazon's Lord of the Rings is woke garbage by who cares. But we also have the modern injection of politics and woke nonsense into the series. Get a load of this article that's all excited, hyped about how multicultural this series is going to be because it's finally going to break ground and give us some black hobbits. Yeah, this is just about the only kind of content that I consume anymore because everything else is too woke. So I'm just left with people complaining about wokeness. So there are black and Asian and brown and even Mario types. Mario types? What? Mario types? Mario? Mar Mario? Oh, he meant Maori. Okay. Whatever types within it. Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. Why would you leave that in the video? One time on the set of this movie, they had a stunt knife thrower. Oh, no, no, no. We already know about this. So when he went to fling the knife. Yes, he deflected a real knife. We all know. He deflected the knife and the shot is in the movie. No, we, we all know about this. As soon as I heard there was going to be a black hobbit. I knew it would suffer the same fate as Star Wars, having black people in it. Vigo also fractured his foot on that scene where they presume Mary and Pippin were dead and he kicks the orc helmet. Yeah, we all fucking know. Oh, Marone, I don't appreciate you talking about us Mario types. Yeah, so what, we're all Italian plumbers? You gotta put us in a box because of that? With your words? You gonna call us Mario types like we're all just types of one guy? My name's Lorenzo, by the way, you fucking piece of shit. I oughta hang you off a construction site. Unbelievable. Ah, I'm sorry. I got heated. Oh, and listen, this is a message for any of my employees trying to unionize. Think twice. I know you guys like to watch these anti-woke bullshit videos and I'm letting you know. I'll put you down a pipe you never jump back out of with your fist up and shit like we all do yelling wahoo or whatever. No unions. Unions are woke. And Gargamel. All right, well, hey, let me show you guys what a not woke Lord of the Rings would look like. But also, it's an ad for today's sponsor, NordPass.com slash Big Money. Aha! Welcome to my domain, weary knowledge seekers. I am the NordPass wizard, and I'm here to tell you about NordPass.com slash Big Money. Right now, at NordPass.com slash Big Money, use coupon code Big Money for huge savings on a two year plan plus one month free. Do you wish for pain free logins while shopping online? Well, NordPass stores all of your passwords in a secure vault accessed only by a single master password Mwah. your data is encrypted on your device before it reaches nordpass service for backup and sync god i finally have time to play video games i don't remember any of my passwords sucks for you bitch oh, no you shall not pass with the power of NordPass.com slash big money, I can autofill any password with a single click. I just use the same password for everything so I don't forget. Whoa! You shall NordPass too! Oh. Whoa, this user-friendly NordPass app is the tits! Thanks, NordPass wizard! NordPass.com slash big money is brought to you by the same cybersecurity experts behind NordVPN! Uh-oh, what happened to him? Is he dead? I may have zapped him too hard. Uh, okay, well, I'm away. Goodbye, little Frodo with the vagina in the front instead of the back. What? What? Ah, go to nordpass.com slash big money and see all of the features for yourself. Mwah. Generate powerful passwords and share them securely without putting your credentials at risk. Take your password security seriously today. Heed my warning as I am the NordPass wizard and you shall NordPass!
NordPass.com slash big money for huge savings on a two-year plan plus one month free. All right, now where are the hobbits? I fuck them. I fuck the hobbits. Man, I can't stop watching this Lord of the Rings trailer to find new woke shit to complain about. Like, uh, they're turning Garbaniel into a girl boss? Gar no, uh, Gadon Gadondril? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know her name at all, but that's why we gotta turn to an expert. Well, an expert who can complain about wokeness. Woke Amazon Lord of the Rings gives us black, brown, Asian, and Maori habits. Yeah, that, I have every problem in the world with that. And play. The next great big thing in fantasy television is already guaranteed to be more occupied with the race and ethnicity of its characters than actually of, you know, telling a good fantasy story. Yeah. <laughs> a story. Ah oh, yes, that distant tertiary concern to making sure that we have enough black, Asian, brown, and Maori hobbits. You see, nobody talks like that unless they know they're right. Otherwise, you just sound like a fat- We're called Harefoots, not hobbits. They're, they're different th type of hobbits, you see. We're multicultural hobbits. We're a tribe, not a race. Harfoots were one of the three breeds of hobbits along with stores and fallow hides. Yeah, you know what? They don't actually look super white. At this point, there is no such thing as a hobbit anymore. The hobbits don't exist. What we have is modern day people cosplaying as hobbits. We have modern day black people, Asians, brown, and Maoris, walking around with hairy shoes on pretending to be hobbits. Hold up, there's Asian hobbits? That's where I draw the line. It's like seeing a bunch of random white people in a Zulu movie wearing traditional African garb. Like they're just standing there with their cowhide shields and their, their little impy spears. It's <laughs> just like, yes. Fellow blacks, hello. Uh, all right, man, Wh whatever, that sounds good. So here's how you leave a comment to agree with somebody about their stance on wokeness. Nice shit, dude. I also can't stand how woke everything is now. The other day I was telling a joke to my buddy and somebody filmed it on their phone and got me canceled for my daycare job. Now, granted, I was telling a joke about how I make the babies fight and invite a bunch of biker dudes over to watch. And when police investigated me, they found that, yeah, I also do that in real life. I was taking home a quarter mil per month getting these babies roided up and punching each other in the face while every hell's Angel chapter in the tri-state area cheered on. They were the best years of my life until I got canceled. Yeah, the feds busted in the door and canceled everyone in the building. I only got out because I turned state's witness on the spot. I lost the trust of everyone I loved, put them all in jail, and now I live under a new name in the constant fear that at any moment a motorcycle could pull up and end my life. But hey, it could be worse. Black Panther could have been a woman. And post. Okay, so who else is complaining about this one minute long trailer? Racist Lord of the Rings fans calling Rings of Power woke. Toxic fandom. What? I'm not racist and Jews run the world. Also, I absolutely need to preface this by saying massive trigger warning. Some of these comments are just downright racist. And I know that can be hard for people to see because, well, it should be hard to see. Racism really should have no place in our society. No, 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 this is virtue signaling. This guy's probably more racist than me. Why are they black? There is no black people in Lord of the Rings. Oh, sick. He's about to do my job for me. I'm just gonna lay back. This will be unwatchable. Meanwhile, I'm gonna show comments from his video. Dude, you did such a good job at not understanding why people are mad. Haha, ha, it's not about racism. There are also the people who post memes of Ryan Gosling being cast as Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, racists exist. Now address the rest of us that just don't think multi-billion dollar multinational companies should be talking down to us and fixing decades old artworks. It's pretty simple. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't read that shit. And post. Then there's also this one. Honestly, can't imagine being this ignorant. Like, there really must be no awareness of the world around them whatsoever. Memes are supposed to be funny, but this is just a way of spreading hateful opinions. I don't feel the need to consider that because he was virtue signaling the whole uh time. Really shouldn't matter. And I thought we were mostly getting there, but comments like these just remind us that there's still so far to go. Nope, that's a straw man. However, people like these are luckily a dying breed. It's it's a slow process, but at least we're making progress. That's Occam's razor. We're calling out these people, so don't lose all hope yet. The racists shall not pass. Uh, that's a ca uh, lost cause fallacy. Listen, if you really don't want black people in Lord of the Rings, then just don't watch this new show. Nope, classic Abigail's promise right there. Eva is not capable of creating anything new. It can only distort and destroy what has been invented or made by the forces of good. <laughs> okay, well guys, here's the most important part about complaining about wokeness. You gotta learn how to deal with the normies. 
Uh, watch this. I don't know where you get off calling me racist, pal. Just because I want to see not a single person of color in my Lord of Rings Amazon series? Look, I have a very clear image in my head of what this world looks like, and it's all white people. You understand? Is that racist? I don't think so. If we're gonna turn Middle Earth into one big melting pot, how long until there's no white people left in Rivendell? Next thing you know, we're gonna have LGBTQ representation in a flagship show for a gigantic streaming service that uses algorithmic data to cater their content towards the largest demographic possible. Well, whatever. I guess I just don't understand. The whole thing's a losing battle. Once you go woke, it's just a twisted spiral downward into the abyss where you can't say or show anything. But hey, at least Scooby-Doo is still all white. God bless them. And Khaleesi. Great. Well, we did it. Thanks to Amazon, we finally all have something to complain about for many years to come. Complain about wokeness. Complain about cast members having sex with the same sex as, as they are. Uh, black people. We have all of this to complain about and more for the next many, many years. So big shout out to Amazon. Their new show, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, premieres on September 2nd. Tune in right here where I will give an episode by episode breakdown of all the wokeness, but also where we're at in the story so far, so you don't miss a beat. Again, go to Amazon, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, premiering September 2nd. You're not going to want to miss it. Also, did you know that Viggo Mortensen used to hike to set every day with his costume on, and including his sword, because he thought it would make him more authentically travel-worn? Did you know that? Did you know that? Big money selfie. Hey there, folks, come on over to neongrizzly.com slash kit for the best merch in the game. Spring is right around the corner, so you're gonna wanna pick up one of these goddamn tie-dye hooded long sleeves. And if you think we don't have a big boy tie-dye soy t-shirt, well then, I hope you fall down a fucking well because it's right here, you lying son of a bitch. By the way, this is your last chance for Kinjiro hoodies and t-shirts. These are a limited edition. Very special, very limited edition. And the big boy soy tie-dye tank top. Imagine your grandma on one of these. Get, get her something nice for her birthday. Day. Well, I've said about all I can about neongrizzly.com slash commentkit. Go there today. Do it fast because any day now the nukes could hit. And don't you want to look good for that? Uh, make money. Money. Money.